Hello YouTube, this is Hen Basket, and welcome to Fire Alarm Friday. As you can see here, I have my standard electric pull station, nice and round. I have my Simplex 4040, my Gentex SHG with only the strobe hooked up. Come over here, I have my Radionics rebranded RS, I have my Wheelock 31T 115. I have my MS 301 here. And I have my vintage 270 right here. I have my Genesis High Candela remote strobe, my Vibratone 350, my 2901 9754, and the I have my and my 4903 strobe with the horn from the 9840, and finally we have the. 4901 remote seating strobe. So I guess without further ado, I'm going to pull the 270. Right after I make sure I have a flat head. I want, nope, not one in there. Eh, screw it. I'll go with the standard electric pull station first. Three, two, one. Loud. Sorry, I <laughs> I had to. Okay, hold on. I think I have a fat head in here. Yes, I do. And now to pull a two seventy and. Smash that glass. I mean, break the glass, not smash. Three, two, one. It's been a while since I broke some glass on camera. Okay, now for the 301. You may see that there's a key here. And yes, that means this does have a GA switch, but I have it hooked up as something else.
I'll take care of that later. And now for the final pull station, the Simplex T-Bar. If I can find the key, yes, here it is. Now, uh, to reset the 301, I mean 503, I have no idea. I'm not willing to re record. I'm an idiot, but you already knew that. I'm the one that likes to cuss at true alerts. Okay, good. That's good. Get this, and then if I turn this and it's done correctly, the alarm should not go off. Yes, it's done correctly. Hen basket, signing off.